my name is Ada, Kalini Hui Xing Yu, and I am 19 years old this year. Okay. I'm Gideon Michael Peters, and I'm 19 as well. What is your design inspiration? Oh, um, my design inspiration? Honestly, I take a lot of design inspiration out of um, Japanese subcultures such as Harajuku fashion and specifically the subcultures um, Decora as well as uh, Lolita fashion because, um, well not exactly particularly in this design even though the silhouette is kind of similar to that uh, in my daily wear and the way that I design and my process is very similar to that maximalist like type of vibe that they are going for and it's all about just like Whatever social constructs that we have in fashion is basically stepping out of that to speak up about either whatever topics that we need to speak out on. So yeah, that's kind of my design inspiration. Also, I take a lot of inspiration from like the Victorian era and specifically Victorian architecture. So like steampunk and or like you know those Victorian marble, white marbles, like all those type of um, decorated like silhouettes that the houses have and everything. Yeah, I find that very like. To me, it's very aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, I take a lot of inspiration from that as well. How long did it take you to come up with this design? Oh, I think we were given around like a week to sketch. Uh, and actually, we we're supposed to make 40 sketches. However, um, this design in particular, I spent like four, like I spent like a week like just training out sketches, training out sketches, training out sketches, and I made like 50 different sketches, like 40 different sketches. And actually, this design was not part of it. So during this time, I really felt like I was in a slump. And you know, as all design, as all designers feel like, like you're stuck in a place. And I was just like, one day, I was just like, you know what? No, scrap everything that I made before. Let's just completely take it to another level. And this design took me literally ten minutes, and it's the one that I, it's the one that I chose in the end. How do you feel being selected as a model for this? I'm honored to be selected. She was very, very. Um... She complimented me a lot actually. She said that I had uh, a lot of like skills and it was quite natural because like when we were shooting it was a bit of a rush and I think I helped her a bit with like the poses and everything and the composition. And so I was yeah, I mean the entire process, she kept me involved, we communicated and so it just helped me feel like you know, it helped me feel special. How do you feel about the the design itself? I think the garment's really unique. I mean, I'm not sure whether it's because I have like very little exposure to like designs, but I find that this silhouette is unique, and you know, there's an element of androgyny in it because you know I am male, so, and this is like the garment isn't exactly your average male silhouette, so yeah, I thought it was really unique. What are the challenges that you encountered creating this? Oh, um, number one thing is uh, we focus a lot about sustainability. So only less than 30% of our materials could actually be from products that aren't recycled, uh, like original products, right? So for example, like the wires, obviously I had to buy them. However, these stuff are made out of um, wet wipes and like old like um, cotton swabs that I used to have. And um, like the actually the stuffing for these are made out of old cotton buds that are like, you know, stale and yellowy. But like, you know, you can always turn new things into fashion. So that's like the whole process of it. Yeah, so the challenges was incorporating those into um, like the whole garment in itself. Mm. And not only that, I actually wanted to challenge myself a little bit more. So <laughs> I went the extra mile of actually making this whole um, outfit monochrome. So mm. you know how people can hide like certain details with um, colors and everything? I was like, you know what, no, I wanted it I wanted it to be monochrome because I also wanted to just bring out certain things about it and I wanted it to look cohesive but yet like I said, like well, like my my inspiration comes from like Lolita Decora, which is a kind of a maximalist vibe. I wanted to go for a more cohesive maximalist uh, vibe, and instead of experimenting with colors, tone myself down and really challenge myself in expressing myself through my design without the use of color. For the model, is there something that you want to um, alter or suggest to the designer on this outfit? Um, the only thing I'd like to alter about the design is maybe that it would be more specifically catered towards me because I think I was a you know, even though she did compliment me and say I was unique and special and whatnot, this this was designed for another person, and I kind of had to replace him the last day. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a, I mean, it was a re really lucky match, but at the same time, some elements of the garment are not specifically tailored to me, and I guess mm -hmm. in a sense, it would be nice if it were more tailored. Yeah. yeah. So, Ada, do you have any things that you want to improve on this one? Oh, okay. 
don't look over here because I actually put stain remover on it because I wanted it to be perfect and then I actually stained it even more because there was actually a red rope. Mm. I actually used rope for this um, okay. and stitched over it. Uh, but yeah, ignore the stain. But um, one really big challenge is that uh, the wire that you see that gives this silhouette, mm -hmm. like um, I did a... Uh, I did, uh, I did basically a hem around it so I can sort the wire through, right? However, the wire does not connect properly if it's not soldered together. And I don't have a so soldering machine, so it's a little bit hard for the wire to stay like this. And so that is constant. We have to constantly like move it around just so that it like properly works. Um, and one other thing is the collar. It's kind of falling, but. Um, I feel like it kind of also gives it like the the asymmetrical silhouette, so it's not really bugging me that much. Not only that, um, these eyelids are actually super glued onto the mm -hmm. super glued onto the garment because um, my eyelid um, machine actually broke, so it was so I was stressing out. But luckily, I had like a bottle of super glue and a dream, and I made it work. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Um, Ada, um, uh -huh. is there something that you want to design and who do you want to design it for? I would like to... I mean, I grew up as like a hopeless romantic and everything, right? So I think one day, I would actually like to design my own wedding dress. Because like, I, I've seen like Vivian Westwood's wedding dresses and everything and I feel like they look so good. I just want my day, my day to be a little bit more me. So I think one day, if I get to design my own wedding dress, that would actually be really good, really like fun. And like interesting because um, bridal wear is something that's completely different from like you know couture designs and everything. The, like it, there's so much detailing that goes into it, and like you have to make sure that's a perfect fit or anything. So yeah, actually, I feel like any bridal designs for myself and on my wedding day, it would be really nice because you know it's part of me. And as like someone on my big day, I want that to be like my journey. Yeah. Um, hello, my name is Shana, and I'm 19 years old. Um, hello, my name is Xin Yuan. I'm also 19 years old. What is your style inspiration? Uh, so my theme is about deforestation. So when I was searching on about deforestation, I came across with many articles that's relating to um, forest fire. So when I thought of forest fire, I thought of that it was it's the home of the animals. So when their home is being destroyed, they feel hurt and um, angry so I'm putting animals as a main character in my collection so they are um, taking a revenge to humans for um, doing what um, for being like uh, revenging back to what they, they they've been hurt and how do you feel being selected as a model um, I actually feel very honored to be able to wear such a beautiful piece of work that is done by my friend here. So it's I also I never tried model before, so it's definitely been be a very special and unique experience for me. Um, how do you think about the, the outfit or just stuff? I really really love the outfit. I really love the silhouette and the work that she has done. And also I I really love the prints at the back, at the prints. So it's very interesting and also meaningful. It really applies to her concept as well. How long did it take you to come up with this design? Um, so from the beginning of the work to the end, it probably take about two months. Um, however, when I finalized the team and start doing my fabric manipulation and sewing work, it actually takes about uh, a month. Are there any challenges that you encountered um, doing this design? Yes, I think I have encountered challenges such as uh, researching for recycled materials that actually fits the color and the um, fabric that I wanted so I actually searched for the fabric for very long. Uh, another challenging part will be the quick uh, print they have done at the back. So it, I was supposed to iron it onto the clothes however when I was trying to do it due to the material uh, of the quick paper I couldn't actually iron it uh, straight away. So what I did was to iron it piece by piece so it actually takes a lot of time because there's a lot of details and sharp edges. On this outfit, um, are there anything that you want to change or improve? Um, I think I want to improve um, the material that I've selected and adding more upcycling materials. So it not only helps to save the environment, but um, it can use a lot of unwanted things that normally people just throw it there. But I can actually change it into a more beautiful and creative. Is there anything that you want to suggest for the designer to improve on this outfit? Um, 
no, actually I think her work is perfect to me. <laughs> yeah. If there is a dream design that you want to do, what is it? And also, who do you want to design it for? Um, instead of saying a dream design, I would say that my dream is to design because uh, I feel designing is um, very interesting because I can put all my thoughts um, of um, what I think and what I like into the design I'm making and I really enjoy the process. So I will not say um, dream to design something but I will keep on um, doing design for my entire life because uh, from young that's what I believe that I will, I, I will be doing.